Backstage, there's a chance for a quick rehearsal for some very small performers about to face a very big audience indeed. Hundreds of musicians, actors and dancers are getting ready for one of the most watched TV shows on the planet. China's Lunar New Year Gala has been growing ever grander since it began in 1983. But this year, the directors have been ordered to produce a show more frugal in tone, in line with the recent crackdown on corruption and official extravagance. It's a rare intervention these days. China's diverse ethnicities always feature, underlining national unity, but direct political messages have been scaled back. It's a really a wonderful platform because everyone is watching it. And I think as a classical musician, this is a very nice place to share our uh, artwork. And normally, you know, we, we play only in a concert hall. And this is a, another stage that you can share probably with somebody who never heard classical music before. But it's really good. Yeah. There are foreign acts too. This year, everything from Celine Dion to this Kenyan student. Um, I'll just sing the one that I'm singing, the one line I'm singing. It goes like that. <laughs> Such is the importance of this national TV moment that this is the first time ever that a foreign broadcaster has been allowed behind the scenes like this. We're told that the message of frugality this year will be reflected in fewer costume changes on the night and recycling some of the set and scenery from last year. It might be risky. Audiences already have other choices and critics ask whether the extraordinary 700 million viewing figure can be sustained. John Sudworth, BBC News, Beijing.